guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Victoria's Creations. In this video, I want to show you how to make this really cute pet cube for your small animals, like your chinchillas or your ferrets, or even if you have rats. Um, but it this has the opening in the front. Uh, there are seams that are exposed on the inside, but you cannot see them on the outside. So let me show you how to make this and let's get right into the video. For this project, you will need your basic supplies, scissors, pins, rulers, sewing machine, and thread. And then for your pieces, mine are cut 10 by 10. So I have a fleece piece and a cotton piece. I've already pinned them together. So you're going to want six of each piece cut 10 by 10. So let's get those all cut together, and then you're going to pin them all together, wrong sides together, except for one of them, you want to pin right sides together. Okay, so let's start getting this put together. So for step one, the first thing we want to do is take the pieces that we had pinned together, the ones that are pinned right side together, and we're going to make our opening. So I find it easiest to use a circular object like the salt container, but you can really use any circular object. You're going to place it right in the middle, and then you're going to draw a circle around it. So just like this. So that's going to be the circle that we're going to sew and cut out. So we're just going to stitch along the line. So let me get that out of the machine. I'll show you what that looks like. So all I'm going to do is just stitch around the line that I drew. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the middle piece. So just cut it and then cut around the line, but just don't cut over your stitching. So we're going to cut out our circle now. Okay, then we're just going to take our pieces and pull them through the hole so that you can no longer see the seam. So that's going to be our middle piece, and we have a nice circle entrance for them. So let's move on to the next step. Once we finished our front piece, the rest of it is super easy. So all we're going to do is take our remaining pieces and start matching them up. So if you have pins in them, you may want to remove the pins from the side that you're going to match up. So I'm going to match. I want the same pattern on the same side. So I'm going to do the sunflowers together. I'm going to match these pieces up. And then under my sewing machine, I'm just going to sew right down the line. So there's the first seam. And we're going to take our next pattern piece. Again, we want to remove the side that we want to sew together. I'm just going to remove all of them. I don't need them. And then we're going to match up the other side. And so that. We're going to take another piece. And it doesn't matter what side you sew this onto. I'm just going to go to the one on the right here. Going to match that side up. And again, sew down the line. So now you should have four panels. So now we take our end panels and we're going to match those up. So pretty much just fold it in half, line them up, and sew again. Now 
you should have a square. So now we're going to add the top and the bottom. So let's get to that part. We have to line it up to the square. So if you just take your square, lay it flat, take your next panel piece, remove any pins you have in it, and then you're just going to line it up on one of the sides, and then just sew down that line. And then you're going to do the same thing for the remaining sides. So lay it flat again, and then take it, if you have pins in it, make sure you remove them, and line it with the next side, and sew across, and then do the same thing for the other two sides until it is fully sewn onto the bottom. your bottom on there. So then we're going to add the top. Um, mine is rather large because it's for a chinchilla. Uh, so I do like to hang mine. So if it's something that you want to hang, I'm going to show you how to add the little strings in here now. So let me show you what to do and I'll grab those. So I just use carabiner rope for my strings. You can get this from Home Depot for like $4 for 50 feet of it. So don't go to Walmart or Joann's and buy two feet for 15 bucks. Just go to Home Depot. It's much cheaper. They have a lot of different colors. So all we're going to do is you're going to cut it up. I cut mine uh, 12 inches for each one and I cut out four. And then you're going to take this loop and I'll fold it in half. You're going to place it in the corner of your box and just pin it in there. That way when you're sewing, you can sew over it on each corner. And I'm just going to pin the one side for now. So now you're going to take your last panel piece and place it over one of your sides there. And you're just going to sew across. And you do want to sew over your strings here. So let's start that. <laughs> Now that you have your cube all sewn together, you can trim these pieces if they're still sticking out. Okay, and then just right side your cube out. And there's your cube. So if you wanted it smaller, it would stand up on its own a little more. Um, but mine's going to be hung up, so it doesn't really matter that it doesn't stand up. But if you make it 8x8 eight eight for the squares, they do stand, they stand up really nice on their own. Or you could add a little bit of stabilizer in there. Uh, like I said, mine's going to be standing. So there it is. Okay, so there it is again. Uh, I've showed you how to make it. Uh, I hope it's easy for you. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And hopefully you'll subscribe and start following my future videos. If there's anything you want to see me make or DIY, leave that in the comments too. Uh, I st still want to let you guys know that I got this fabric at Walmart for $5.
So I'm trying to figure out what to make with it. So if you want to see me make something really cool with this, leave that in the videos and that will be my next video. See you guys later.